From the mailbox of you have five new messages. Well, hello, 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 darling. And here I saw that this number you left, he was real. <sighs> they never are, are they? Everyone wants the chance to play Cinderella for a night, but when they turn back into pumpkins, no one ever wants to claim that glass slipper. I mean, I've never gotten a fake number in my life. Usually I'm talking them out like candy. You had the chance to be the first at something you know. It's almost a shame you didn't take it. If only for the momentous occasion it could have been for me. Anyway, when you're looking to go crawling through the pubs again, feel free to give me a chat and I'll give you a lift. I'll even buy the first drink. Aren't I such a gentleman? Or maybe you prefer to pay just so the staff knows who's wearing the pants around here. Though, if the evening goes my way, neither of us will be wearing pants by the time I'm done with you. To the loose sailor. See you next time you wash up on my particular harbor. You have four new messages. Woohoo, sailor. You like that? Nice little callback to our first little chat. Well, not so much chat, but first call. And the bar, you said you were into that kind of thing, didn't you? Something about boats or sailors or harbor, sea, mermaids, lighthouses, something vaguely nautical. I don't know if that's like a quirk of your character, but I'd say I'd love to get used to it. Now I know there's a rule about waiting three days so you don't look too desperate, but frankly, I have never gotten it. I mean, I get it for other people. Other people. And I mean, you're a cat. You must be used to filthy fiends selling themselves at you all the time. And I suppose you'd throw me right down alongside them, wouldn't you? Well, if it means being associated with both filth and you, the Venn diagram is at least somewhat accurate. I haven't seen you in bars lately. I mean, it's not like I'm looking for you, or that I really go to clubs that often, but I have to admit, it's not the same as it was before. I must have hit that particular club a hundred times before, and although every night offers a little variety the same way that going to your favorite restaurant every day and Ordering the same thing has a little variety by the virtue of the fact that it's simply a different day, but <sighs> the club just hasn't felt the same without you. Still loud, still bustling, still like walking inside a seizure, but it's like the pulse slipped out from beneath my fingers while I was still feeling it. If it's so crazy to want to resuscitate that feeling, bring it back to life? Speaking of favorite little restaurants, I think I've found yours. There's this little place down the road from the pubs I've seen you pop in once or twice. And I mean, it's not like I've been looking to find you or anything. You're just so noticeable, you know? Anyway, if it's not drinks you're looking for, we could always- Message recorded. Press 1 to listen to your message. Press 2 to re-record your message. Press 3 to- <laughs> Ah, fuck. You have three new messages. I know I said it was once or twice a week, but I stopped by myself for just a bite. You know, you, you seem to like it so much, and- they said that you've been in here every day this week. Naughty, naughty. Too good to eat at your desk like the rest of your little cubicle crabs and their 
little cubicle shells or do you just long for something better than what you have? Because I can most certainly provide. And you're right. You do deserve better. You are truly too good for them. I know you believe it because I believe it too. When someone believes that about themselves, they're a raging narcissist hopped up on an ego so large that it would make the whole world look small. When someone believes that about another person, though, well, I'm rather curious what that would make them. Is that a sycophant? Is that religion? Is that love? I don't have the foggiest idea, but I am just desperate to learn more. You have a spark to you. You can go to a pub, a club, anywhere where the music is loud and the bass is thumping and the shots are fired off like they're coming from the muzzle of a Keltac PMR 30. And, well, I can certainly manage 30 a magazine, but you go anywhere like that and chances are you're going to find that desperate loser who's grabbing at you and kissing on you and is convinced that he is going to die without you. All because you mistakenly grinded on him. I know that kind of guy. Rip their tongues out with my teeth. I know that kind of guy. And every single one of them is convinced in that instant that you are their fucking savior. I want to exalt the same name without the sand in my mouth that comes from licking your heel. I am not like those men. I refuse to be. Even as I worship at your altar in a state where the brilliant spark in your eyes can be mistaken for that of a half a dozen neon lights, I'm still on my knees. All for the sake of you. I believe there's more to you than Message recorded. Press 1 to listen to your message. Press 2 to re-record your message. Press 3 to You have two new messages. That I believe there's more. Ah, stop. Did it really just... I hate it when it does that. Oh. Hello. Look at you go. Look at you go. Let me guess. A quiet night in. No numbing the pain at the expense of your liver. So, not the drama, I see. Just like a Kennedy when Camelot went down in flames. And I know where that trail of kerosene was leading. You've been waiting for a matchstick like me to take charge this whole time, haven't you? Haven't you? You have one new messages. Look, it needs to be said. And it needs to be said now. Because if I don't say it now, it's a whole hell of a lot harder to bring it up later. And that sows the seeds of doubt. I don't want doubt from you. I want the world and everything else. There's just something about you. Something that can be mistaken for a world of boozy, boozy flashing lights contained entirely only in your eyes. At first I thought I just wanted a hookup, a fling, a one-night stand, a devil's backbone or something. You, you left the option open for me and... Hook it as if you'd be surprised by such an idea, but as I watched you live your life, you became harder and harder to approach as I learned more and more about you. The way you walk, the way you talk, your habits, your quirks, your idiosyncrasies, your neuroses. Impossible to witness without the ugly light of day. That light is rather ugly to me. I should know. I've been cast into its spotlight once or twice. 
I've seen the people it draws in, and I've seen the way it leaves them. But I've seen you. I know you. I know the version of you that you deliberately kept away from everyone else you know, and now I know that too. And I've come to love it. Not love it. Need it. Necessitate it. Like misery loves company. Like tragedy loves orphans. Like alcohol loves a bad decision. But I've been stone cold sober these last five calls. You are truly something special. I aspire to be the kind of special that allows me to rise to your station as something more than the fling you met while clubbing. But there's time for that. Plenty of it. Plenty of it. Hold on, sailor. I'm coming home. You have one new messages.